let me just share a few key takeaways, which is a challenging aspect of this, but some things that I hope that we can remember and take forward that the panelists said today. We were talking about inclusion, and it's not just social and economic, but political inclusion is just as important. The need to view women not only as victims, but as agents, agents for change, that's critical. We talked a lot about why are people radicalized, looking at power participation and resources. We look to solutions for countering violent extremism. Let's look at what really uh, those root causes are. Uh, we talked a little bit also about engagement and engagement of young people, not just being about formal uh, education, but it's also about ways in which people have access to opportunities uh, and access to information as well. Technology is a solution, it's not always a problem, and looking for more and more ways in which we can get um, people engaged through that, and that CSOs are not homogeneous. Uh, civil society looks different in different places. The possibility that it is um, still our duty and our goal to lift people out of, of poverty, and that on this breadth and panorama that we've traveled today, we can't lose sight of injustice and the perception of injustice. And then it's about working alongside communities. So maybe the, the element of support needs to be dropped uh, a little bit further down and that by working together, we can use the privilege from the outside to expand the table and to even out the table. I would like to thank uh, each and every one of you for your participation today. Uh, everybody out in the audience, please join me in thanking our panelists.